first graders. We are going to continue with another page in our reader's notebook. So yesterday we worked on our before reading activity where we talked about a time that we felt sick, what helped us feel better, and we also talked about how there are different meanings for the word green. When you are green, you might be sick, you might feel jealous of somebody, or if you have a green thumb, you're a really good gardener. So those were our before reading activities. Today we're gonna have a, a during reading activity and an after reading activity. These are the two pages you are gonna have for homework tonight. I suggest the page on the left, our during reading activity, you have out while we read our story. So on our first page, it says, as you read the second chapter, write down the things Toad does to think of a story. So we have on page 19, 20, 22, 24, what does Toad try? And we need to set, we need to write what he tries and then does it work? So then we will say yes or no if it worked. Frog and Toad are friends. Chapter two, the story. One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Toad said, Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green, said Frog. I am a frog. Today you look very green, even for a frog, said Toad. Get into my bed and rest. Toad made Frog a cup of tea. Frog drank the tea, and then he said, Tell me a story while I'm resting. All right, said Toad. Let me think of a story to tell you. Toad thought and thought, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. I will go out on the front porch and walk up and down, said Toad. Perhaps that will help me think of a story. Toad walked up and down on the porch for a long time but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. So right there on that page, there is a way that um, Toad tried to think of a story for Frog. He walked up and down the porch. And did it work? It did not work. Then Toad went into the house and stood on his head. Why are you sitting on your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I stand on my head, it will help me think of a story, said Toad. Toad stood on his head for a long time, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. There's another thing that he did to try to think of a story. Then Toad poured a glass of water over his head. Why are you pouring water over your head? asked Frog. I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me think of a story, said Toad. Toad poured many glasses of water over his head, but he could not think of a story to tell Frog. Right there, he poured water on his head. And did it work? Did not work. Then Toad began to bang his head against the wall. Why are you banging your head against the wall? asked Frog. I hope that if I bang my head against the wall hard enough, it will help me think of a story, said Toad. I am feeling much better now, Toad, said Frog. I do not think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it, said Toad, because now I feel terrible. So there's another one, banging his head against the wall, and did it work? It did not work. Frog said, would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Yes, said Toad, if you know one. Once upon a time, said Frog, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend to tell the toad. He asked his friend the toad to tell him a story. The toad could not think of a story. He walked up and down on the porch, but he could not think of a story. He stood on his head, but he could not think of a story. He poured water over his head, but he could not think of a story. He banged his head against the wall, but he could not think of a story. Then the toad did not feel so well, and the frog was feeling better. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, toad? said frog. But toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. So that is, uh, that reading is going to help you for your first page of your homework, your during reading. When you are finished with what does toad try and does it work, yes or no, you are gonna go to your after reading activity. So the first question is, what if Toad had not fallen asleep at the end of the chapter? What would he have said to Frog about his story? So what do you think Toad said to, would have said to Frog about his story? That he liked it, that he didn't like it, that maybe it sounded familiar, that maybe it was a story about them. You're gonna complete a full sentence in that saying, saying Toad would have said, and then say what Toad would have said. 
Our second question, do you think Toad would have noticed where his frog story came from? How do you know? So we know when we were reading that the story that Frog said was about Toad. But do you think Toad would have noticed that if he stayed awake? Yes, no. And then how do you know? So either yes, Toad would have noticed, or no, Toad would have not noticed. You are also going to answer that in a complete sentence.